push the nose down a little bit. See our airspeed over here? Yeah. And right here, 64, 65, 66. We want to be going about 70. But right here is fine. See how nice we're looking, coming in really gentle. So pretty soon here, when we get close to the ground, and I'll tell you when, we're going to want to pull back. We don't want to pull back so much that we start flying again, but we want to pull back and just hold it level right off the runway. And if we hold it at that point, the plane's actually just eventually going to settle right down onto the runway. But right now we got to go a little faster, so push down. I know it feels counterintuitive. It doesn't feel like you're supposed to, but push down. All right, okay, hold it right there. This afraid that I'm going to be landing in the water. Ah, uh, we won't land the water. Beautiful approach. 55 knots. Slowing down to 50. Push forward a little bit. We're going slow. Oh boy. Bounce. There we are. So that doesn't do anything on the ground. On the ground, it's controlled entirely by your feet. Do you want to try taking off again? Uh, all right. All right, so I'm going to get rid of that. What we're going to do is we're going to take this guy. We're going to push it all the way in. Push right it all down. the way. Yep, all the way forward. And I'm going to hold this because you're trying to turn it. Control on the ground with your feet. See how we're going? Push the right pedal. There you go. You just want to hold this straight. All right, now take this thing and pull it back slowly. And we're flying. Whoa. Push forward a little bit. Right there. See, now we can see where we're going. You just landed, you did a touch and go at San Francisco International. Kinda cool, huh? Yeah. We still got people wanting to do